Oh boy. Oh boy, do we do we have do we have have a winner today, people? Oh man. This is just insane. Hello everybody, Tony here. Welcome back to another episode of TT Bird Game Reviews, and this is another single part review. This is episode 122, part one of one. And oh boy, and actually I take it back. This is an episode of TT Burger's shockingly bad game reviews, and been a while since I said that, so I've done a single part review like this and stuff, and and this this review this game I mean, was requested for me to review by my by a good friend of mine, Razorblade1812, who told me about oh this game is really bad, you need to review it, it's it's terrible, you you'll 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 you'll, you'll be scarred when you play this and He's right. He is right. I did play this and it did. It was just awful. Just, just awful. Now, before I get started here, how many of you, you people growing up in the late 90s and 2000s, watch, watch the show called The Powerpuff Girls? I per personally couldn't, didn't, didn't get Powerpuff Girls because I didn't have Cartoon Network at the time, so by the time I, I learned about the series 3, the fame already had died down and stuff. But from what I learned about Powerpuff Girls, Powerpuff Girls was very popular. It was basically one of one of those, those superhero hero hero girls who like just save 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 the town, defeat defeat the bad guys, stuff that, and get, get rid of evil stuff. It was basically like that, and that's what the Powerpuff Girls was all about. I don't really really need to explain it off. I'm sure everybody knows what the Powerpuff Girls are, so explaining it would, would probably be unnecessary and stuff. But um. Of course, we, it also faces around with, with action figures and video games and more and more with the merchandising and we're going to be looking at, at one of those video games for today and it is so bad, I swear, and I got it right here. This is the Powerpuff Girls Chemical Extraction for the PlayStation 1 and also released for the Nintendo 64. Funny thing is, the Nintendo 64 version is actually worse, so I'm actually really, really glad I got the better I got the better version here and stuff, definitely. But what is there is there to say about Powerpuff Girls Temple Extraction? It is terrible, s terrible so much, so bad. It's like, it's like I just gotta wonder what they what were they thinking when they made this 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 pile of shit? I mean, this this this, this looks so bad. I mean, like, holy cow! I mean, I mean, I, I knew it'd be bad, but not like this. I mean, if, if, if what you see here is what basically the whole thing is. Basically, you you choose a power a power 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 power, 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 power girl. And you just fight an enemy and stuff, and kind of like this 3D fighting thing and stuff like that, which I like fighting games, I don't mind if it's a fighting game, but as long as, as long as it's a fighting game that actually works, then it's fine, but holy shit, this is, this is, is awful. I mean, it, it look, it doesn't look that bad at first, but once you get more into, into the game, you will see the horror and how bad this is, and when I mean, mean horror, you'll see how it is, definitely. So, where do we begin? The story. Yeah, let's talk about the story here. The story is basically like, it, it kind of plays out like well, one of the episodes of the show where like, um, Mojo Dojo is out, is out for, for, for trouble and stuff and, 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 and trying to invade Townsville and stuff like that and try and cause problems to, to touch Townsville more and more and more. Because it basically, what it is, it's like, Mojo Dojo has stolen little, little pie full of chemical X and that was, that, that was from the Powerpuff Puff Girls because they made a special pie and bubbles put in uh, some chemical X and Mojo Dojo stole it and now it's try trying to trying to to cause terror in Townsville yet again and it's up for the Powerpuff Girls to defeat Mojo Dojo and his minions once again and the story is actually okay I mean I don't mind the story and stuff I mean the story I, I don't mind the story because it actually does come off as something that that that, that you'd see in the show and it actually works but it's just like it only gives you the false impression that that the rest of the game is just awful for graphics here, no graphics are definitely a mixed bag. Like, if you, the cutscenes look nice. I mean, the cutscene scenes have have like that that feel of of what the show was like and stuff. And the cutscenes do look nice. I mean, sure, like like the end game game graphics aren't anything special. I mean, like 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 the character models look somewhat blocky, not as blocky and stuff like that. But and the game holds a smooth frame rate. And the, I mean, like presentation wise, it's good, but. It once again only, only gives you the false impersonation that the game is awesome and stuff. So that that's basically what it is there. Sound is also good. You got the voice actors from the show rep reprising their roles here. They do a great job. And yet, I'm, I said a, a lot of good stuff here. But we haven't gotten into the worst part though. The gameplay. And the gameplay 
what happened here? Like, you have a great presentation with, with, with graphics and sound, and you got, got a decent story, but it's all the, it seems, seems like all the care and effort went went into that, and just they pretty much seem to forgot about the most important part, the gameplay. And how could this happen? I mean, like, just that all all the good parts, and then you got the, got the bad part here, which is the main part of the game, the gameplay, and it just, it hurts the game very, very badly. For starters, like when you start the game, you choose from one of from, you choose from one of the three pop up girls, a bubbles, blossom, buttercup. I'm gonna I'm gonna well I'm gonna pick pick blossom because she's the leader of the bunch. So I'm, 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 I'm gonna pick her. And then you you get in the game and you pretty pretty much 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 go to city hall and work your way all through Townsville to defeat Mojo Dojo. And when I first heard about this game, I thought it was gonna it was gonna be a a, a side scroller or a or a 3D platform, but instead. It's basically just just a brawler and a bad one because like and I mean a bad one because like it's just it's so un unbalanced and just it just it's like on a teeter totter on a seesaw going going up and down it can't decide what it wants if it wants to be easy or challenging or just it doesn't decide what it wants to be. The the main advantage advantage in pitch here is that like you have items that you can throw in in the arenas and stuff. And that all sounds fine and if if, if you collect three bottles of of of, of chemical X then you 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 use you, your your special power like 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 Blossom has these laser eyes and stuff and such and and that all sounds fine but just that like um it's just too bad that the difficulty is is really unfair because like at first like 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 the the opponent nit nit AI will just like do nothing but just sit there and, and just like and just let you keep attacking them and you can win and you know they can attack you you can still win but then after like the second or th the third or fourth stage the difficulty take 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 the nose dive and they'll, they'll keep spamming the items keep throwing the items at you non-stop and won't give you a chance to attack at all and you're and you're left helpless because the only way you'll be able to to defeat them is by throwing items back but if but if they throw there's a second before yours your item won't won't even hit them and stuff so you're basically try 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 trying to try to play a play a game of tag to try and get to an item first so you can hit them first and just becomes boring and monotonous and just very very frustrating this is all you do throughout the game and very experienced experienced players will, will be able to breathe through this in about 45 minutes or so I mean, like, Bojo Dojo is, like, pretty much, much, much the most unfair, fair opponent, because he just keeps spamming attacks over and over, and he'll use his special on you more than once, he'll take about, like, 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 three quarters of your health away, and you're, and you're left defenseless, and you will have no chance to win, but look at this here, this could have been awesome, but instead, all this wasted potential went in there because of, because of the unfair difficulty, and the point AI just pretty much destroys it, and the fact that there's nothing else to do after that, you can just pick an, another power, power, power puff girl to, like, beat the game with and stuff, but beyond that though, there's nothing to do with this game aside from like, like, like some multiplayer mode, which I heard is really bad, I don't have anyone to play, so I can't show you the multiplayer, but it's just, it's just, it's just ridiculous because how do you take a popular TV franchise and turn, and make a crappy game like this? How is that even possible? This was based on the Powerpuff Girls, I will never know. But all I can say is that like, this game is a, is also a reskin of a of a Tom and Jerry game as well, which I which I heard which I heard heard about too from what my buddy Razor 12 told me. So it basically no originality went into this at all. So yeah, but it basically just just that. But even so, would you even want to play this game? I mean, sure there are there are other Powerpuff Girl games out there and stuff, but I don't even know about the others and stuff. Like that. But then again, just watch the show if you want Powerpuff Girls. Just watch the show and if you and, and stuff, or just go look at your action figures and stuff like that that you have the Powerpuff Girls and stuff. Like that, if you want your Powerpuff Girls action and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say here. I mean, this 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 was just terrible. It was so bad. It will get a number rating, but it just it's just so bad. I mean, Revelation 12, you were so right. This game is 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 awful, really much. And I can't believe that all that that this was the best they could do. I mean, Bam and Entertainment could have could have put put more work in this too. I mean, I will admit right now. I mean, from what I heard, the N64 version is worse because. There's no, there's no voice acting and the controls are worse and stuff. But still, I mean, no matter which version you play, it's just, it's, it's not going to be, be worth it at all. And my final thoughts are: avoid this game. There are better game games games out there for, for the, for the, the PlayStation and stuff that you, you can have, you can have. If you want a brawler or something or a fighting game or anything, 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 anything TV related stuff like that, don't pick it up. It's, it's terrible. I mean, short length. Bad gameplay, shit sure, that good graphics and sound and, and a decent story, but still, all, all that only gives you, you the false impression that the game will be good. And due to the complaints I have with this game, the best score I'll be giving it, let's see, what is the best score to give it? Good graphics, good voice acting and sound, and like, 
decent storyline. Best score I can give this is a 2.5 out of 10. Sure, it's not as low as, as I give in other games like the Barbie games and American National games and stuff, and the Sabrina Teenage Teen 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 Witch Game, which I've destroyed all those and stuff, but still, this, the, the, this is just terrible. Just bad. Just really bad. So, you're probably wondering, am I going to do anything to this game? The question is no. I mean, it's better than, than, than the Barbie games and stuff, so I'm going to keep it, keep it in my collection, but there are better games for you to be all, all to play on the PlayStation Edition and stuff, so just go out go out and just play other games. That's pretty much all I got to say. Those of you, you who are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like the video, comment down below, and don't forget to join my Discord group, TT Bird Games United, because I'm always looking for more people to join. The link is in the description, so feel free to click on it, and that's pretty much all I got to say. This is Tony, peace and out, have a great day, stay tuned, more reviews coming, and just stay tuned.